Uh, as we all know, uh, you know, we are in the age of AI. Everyone is talking about it. And if I may say, if I'm not mistaken, Ranjan and Simon, you're the longest in the game just from this, uh, from this panel. Uh, I, I'm directing this question to you, actually. So how have you noticed that the, the technology is influencing the property investing today? And how you can leverage while remember how it used to be done? Because I'll, uh, the question is directed to you, but we're going to ask everyone else to also explain how they are leveraging because it's more current. Simon. So I mentioned it earlier. Uh, some great software you should definitely check out is Property Filter. And what they've done is they, they've basically taken what we kind of teach on how to search for property and just automated it so you can save yourself a whole lot of time. And, and I think sometimes people are a bit scared about things, and, and Property Filter is not AI, but people are scared about AI um, and it will replace lots of jobs, so maybe you should be scared in a way. But it, actually, it's about enhancing the way we do things and saving us time. So I think it's something we shouldn't fear. We should embrace it. We should learn about it. And we've been using AI for so many years. If, if you have Netflix, it selects movies on based on what you look. If you speak to Alexa or whatever, it's all using AI. But most people are not really aware of that. And so if you can become educated and get ahead of the curve, it's a bit like if you got involved in the internet in the early 2000s, you would have made a shed load of money. Likewise, AI is going to affect every aspect of your life, your business, your property as well. And we, it's just scratching the surface kind of things you can do. So I think you probably want to learn about it, start using it, uh, and start integrating it into your life. Second. Yeah, I can be second. Uh, so... Uh, because I'm running a few different kind of businesses, uh, letting agency, renovation companies, digital sourcing company, and uh, AI is just uh, saving you loads of money and time, so uh, making things quicker and easier. Just for example, uh, chat GPT-4 can make you an advert, a fabulous uh, text about uh, your rental property, so you don't need to figure it out, or you don't need to pay uh, another person who's gonna do a marketing for you. Uh, that's one thing. Another application, you know, that's uh, more common now with the letting agencies, but not all of them have applications where uh, you're going to have everything in one system, like uh, landlords, their properties, uh, tenants, uh, all the certificates like EPC, gas, you know, uh, with old agencies, they have like huge mess, having everything on paperwork, documents, uh, losing stuff, like, uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's not uh, productive as much when you're using, uh, you do, you're doing old way or when you're using AI. So AI, uh, as soon you're gonna embrace it, it's gonna uh, in increase your productivity, save your time and save your money. So I'm a big, uh, a big, a big fan of using uh, technology. Well, I, I know, David, how, you know, how advanced you are using the AI, but actually what I wanted to do is I wanted to hear from Simon and Ranjan first because they've, they've done it with a pen and paper running around. So Ranjan, what was your experience? Well, I, uh, I did a computer science degree. I got my, I got a home, com my dad gave me a home computer for my 11th birthday. So I've always been ahead of the technology curve, I could say. I would recommend that everyone do what I do, which is actually um, allocate two hours a week to play with AI. Even if it's just doing silly stuff, you know, like, yeah. you know, like with, with ChatGPT4, you can take a picture of what's in your fridge and say, what recipes can I make well, what food can I make for dinner tonight? Even if you do fun stuff like that, try and see what you can do with it. Just play with AI and allocate that two hours a week, and you will find that there's more and more stuff that you can do. The other warning I would make for AI is that we've got AI, which is going to replace a lot of white-collar jobs. We've got robots and all of that, and, uh, and drones, which is going to replace uh, driverless cars, all of this. But real estate is irreplaceable. The computers, um, the robots, people, they still need to sit on real estate. So real estate is the thing that the technology, well, at least for the next 30 years, <laughs> will not be able to replace. So that's one reason to invest in it. Yeah. Do that. Well done. Yes. Vanish, would you like to comment, please? Um, all AI is going to do is tell you which door to knock on. Okay? So that that's a... It's a great tool. It'll save you money. It'll save you time. It identifies where the, the door that you should knock on. Ultimately, all that does is that still requires you to go and have a human conversation with a human being to negotiate, right? So what I would always say is 
Definitely learn the AI, because that's helping you knock on less doors and be, get more conversations, but then spend a good amount of time developing the soft skills to build trust and connection, because ultimately you're going to have to speak with the vendor and negotiate, and those are the differentiator in, in all the art. I, I'm, I'm happy with AI, but when it comes to speaking and connecting, right, it's still heart-to-heart -heart connections. Right, and that's the bit that you need to be, uh, play the game with, and that's why you know here we're all performers of that art. Yeah, you know? so that I think what it's, it's good to do is understand what AI does. It just identifies the door to knock on. The rest now is then all human. Vanish, simply put, share the love, share the love. Well done, absolutely. Man. Well done. <laughs> well, Tom, would you like to add anything to it? You know, AI for me. Um, I would definitely see myself as a dinosaur when it comes to technology. Um, I've never been that guy. I've always been the pen and paper person. But in my mantra, I write, I am constantly evolving and becoming the best version of me. And AI is the future. I also agree, but business is all about person to person. Handshakes, looking somebody in the eye, cannot be replaced. But for anybody who is the same as me with technology, Start getting comfortable being uncomfortable because it is the future, but you can't replace people. You can't replace people. Well. Yeah.